Here's a play tape machine. Plays little uh, two track cartridges. These were popular for about three or four years from 1967 maybe to 1969. Very popular actually. Smaller than an 8 track, different than a cassette. But the players were similar to 8 tracks in that you couldn't fast forward or rewind, you just had to switch tracks and wait till the end. But they had a huge catalog of artists. They were really sponsored by big record companies and uh, were quite popular. This is the model 1403 with an AM radio. Made in Japan. Input, speaker output, battery compartment. All right, with this one we can turn on the radio, AM only, of course. That didn't take long, did it? Actually, it didn't sound as bad as I thought. <laughs> Sounded a lot worse sitting here. Uh, so this guy, what's this guy's name in Denver? Jeffrey. The police. I'm gonna break it to set my child. Getting up early for us after beating the Clippers last night. Rich Eisen from the NFL Network will join us as well. All the AM channels I get are pretty much at the uh, what I call the north end of the dial. Guys who are looking at reception really isn't too bad. From you, it's extraordinarily. See if you can find guys who are reasonable, and of course. Tone. Outside of the one you played at the top of the hour, is is all good. Right. Yeah. Any any time you want to do that. Turn it off. Right. And then to play a tape, insert it over here, and we can. I gotta get away. I get a lot of hiss. I don't know if that's the old tape or the old machine. There's the insides. Speaking of the insides, why don't we open it up and take a look at what's in there. Here's a play tape that didn't work, so I decided to try and take it apart and find out why. And these don't open up nice like an 8-track does. They kind of break, or else there's no way to do it without breaking it. like that. So, I smashed it all up getting it apart. But it was already broken apparently. Alright, we've got the back off here. It takes four D batteries. Read the specs there. Little AM antenna. It did need a new belt when I got it, but the belt change was uh, incredibly simple, as you can see. Just take the flywheel bracket off with two Phillips screws and go to town. All total, probably about three minutes. So, extremely simple machine. Bad loser. Yeah. That's the thing you got to admit. I am really a bad loser. Mm hmm I'm a good winner. I'm not a gloater like you. I don't remember gloating. I just remember...
So there we have the play tape model 1403 with AM radio from about 1968. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.